All right, welcome to step two, tutorial two, designing, creating the design of the brochure. This by far is my favorite part. So let's work backwards then to the front. Let's work with changing the background. Up in the top of the menu, you're gonna see a tab or a button here for background. Click on that. Now you can simply just pick a color for a background, for example, if you like teal, and this lays nicely in the background. Now remember, slide one is going to be the outer shell of your trifold brochure. So it needs to be eye-catching. It means to pop when you want people to pick this up. You could also choose a background that is a color, or color and image, I'm sorry. And you could take a snapshot, which is a picture of yourself. If you have an image URL, if you have images in your album already saved, same with your Google Drive. For this case, I'm going to search. And you could search for things like Albany, New York. Uh, you know, if your city's really known for skiing, if it's known for Niagara Falls, just depending on what image captures your mind. So I'm just gonna see what Albany brings. Okay, now looking here, if you hover over, um, it kind of gives a little bit. This is more Albany County. If you hover over, that's Albany, New York. Albany, New York. Let's see if there's any kind of, of Albany. Okay, let's see what this one is. Albany, New York. Okay, I'm going to pick this one actually as my background. Up here, if you're wondering, you can search by color. This is set to multiple color. If you want something black and white, scooting on over to that, or we can have something in color. Again, I'm gonna select that, but you can look at different types. If you're looking for a face in particular, a photo, a clip art, a line drawing, just to give you a little bit of variety of your search. The biggest important, most important thing here you wanna keep in your mind is results shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modification. That means that they're royalty free, that they're okay for you to use for projects, especially for school. So we don't want to switch that out. We're going to keep that right there. So we're going to select this, click select. I'm going to click done. And as you see, it becomes now a part of my background. It's very eye popping. These three panels here are going to be where my information is. You can do two things. You can use them as a guide and set the background as transparent, or you could choose to fill the color in each one of these slides, each one of these rectangles, I apologize. What you wanna keep in mind in terms of design is that if you use a light background, you're going to want dark text. And if you want a dark background, you want white text. That's why generally uh, when you read print, it's on a white background with black text. It's easy to read. This background's a little busy. I probably wouldn't set anything to transparent. I'll show you what that looks like on the inside when you have the guidelines. But on the outside, I with this kind of background, I probably would just choose to fill in the rectangles. And again, I wouldn't pick a color of the, um, the fill for the rectangles to be red and my text to be green. First of all, it's very hard on the eyes to read. And then secondly, there are people out there that can't read text when they're red against green because of due to color blindness. So these are things you've got to keep, you have to keep in mind when you're designing your brochure. So the first things first, how do I change the color of each of these rectangles? Up in the menu is the fill bucket. And you come up to the fill bucket and you probably want to pick something that pops, that's complementary. This is where I get really picky. I don't really like that shade of blue, so I'm going to pick on that drop down box again. This time I'm going to go to custom color and I, I want it a little lighter. One a little lighter, maybe a little happier. There we go. Nice, happy blue. And as you see, I set it to a little bit of a transparent color. If I don't want that transparency there, I could go back here and make it a little. There we go, a little less. Now this way, if it is transparent, the background still shows a little bit through, but the text is easy to read. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing with the other two now. I'm gonna choose my custom color again, make it nice, 
design. Here we go. You could see exactly what the picture is going through, but you could still, you'll still be able to read the text. Now, what I'm going to do is actually create a visual for you. So you have an idea. We're just going to work with the outside, the front side of the brochure for this tutorial. But just so you understand what goes where, I'm going to insert a couple text boxes. And when you say to yourself, insert text box, you could pretty much assume that it's under the insert menu. So for example, this is this pane, we work backwards, is your title. Now I know you probably want your title over here, but when you this is folded in a trifold, you want it to open left to right. So your title actually goes here. Now this slide, the middle slide, is known for contact information. And then the last slide here, which is actually on the inside, this is what I like to say, this is your, your attention grabber. Like this is where you want like headlines and headlines like come for a great stay, learn how to ski, um, Albany, capital of New York. So this is like, if you're New York City, great for shopping and shows. This is your headlines. This is their eye grabbing attention. This is the second thing that people are going to notice when they open your brochures. A lot of pictures. Okay, great. Now we're, I'm going to go back to the title slide and I'm going to actually go in here. Now, when you create this, you obviously don't have to insert the text box and click title and contact information headlines because you don't want to name your title title. You want to name it the city that you chose. So I'm going to type in Albany and I'm going to type in Albany, New York, one in each line. A couple things we could do here. This is not really eye grabbing. Um, you know, it's Albany, New York, but it doesn't really stand out to you. So we're actually going to change the style, size, color of the text. The first thing to work with is the style. You have some pre-made design styles here. You have, may have more or less just depending on your um, selection of styles you've worked with in the past. If you want to look at more fonts, just click on more fonts in the bottom of the menu. And a font menu picks up. Here's a little story about fonts. When you're making a brochure or anything in print or on the web, for example, you don't want to go font crazy. The rule of thumb is stay with two fonts, one font for your title, another font for your, for the body of the text, two fonts. That's it. Nothing too fancy, nothing too scrolly, something very easy to read. So for example, I'm going to pick Vigella one. I believe it's pronounced. I have no idea, but I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to pick okay. All right, and my text changed. It still doesn't stand out to me. So the next thing I'm going to do in my drop down menu is make it bigger. We don't want to make this too obnoxiously big. This is not a poster. It's a brochure. You want to make it big enough where it stands out, but not overwhelming. Finally, I am going to center my text. So it's in the center of the box. I'm going to align my text center. See how I did that? Align, center. Anytime you don't really know what a symbol means up here, if you just hover and not click, it actually tells you what each box is. Just to let you know. Okay, now I'm going to do the text color. And I want something that stands out a little bit more than a black. So I chose blue. Click off of that. Great start so far.